Welcome back to Baseball VMI, Visual Memory Index. So far we've examined two components of the VMI, temperature and humidity, and seen that decreases in either temperature or humidity, or both, can account for additional ball movement of similar pitches. We also looked at a non-VMI component, pitch speed, to see how the pitcher can consciously affect the arrival time of the pitch to the batter. Now it's time to move on to altitude. Most baseball enthusiasts are well aware of the extremes between Denver and sea level and altitude, but how does only a thousand feet elevation differ from sea level? Let's first view a pitch at our customary 90 miles an hour, 50% humidity, 70 degree arm angle, and 2000 RPM, but at a thousand feet elevation. Here's the pitch. Now let's compare this pitch to the same pitch having only changed the elevation to sea level. Now let's see that again. Here's the thousand foot elevation. And here's at sea level. This is the amount of adjustment the hitter must make in his muscle memory for a 1,000 foot elevation change and the accompanying additional ball movement. 1,000 feet matches the stadiums at Atlanta, Phoenix, Milwaukee, Minnesota, and relatively close to Kansas City, Arlington, Detroit, Chicago, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Los Angeles, Chavez Ravine, and Pittsburgh. Be sure to take a close look at our visual physics page on this website as it shows the amount of movement from all sources combined. 